you guys are now undefeated, 3-0, and um, going into Turkey. Talk a little bit about the confidence level that you guys have. Uh, I mean, the past three games, you know, we played a one out in Vancouver and we got two at home, and it, it's definitely a confidence builder. You know, it's always better to go 3-0 and than 0-3. So um, I think for our team right now to be together for, you know, just over two weeks, just under two weeks, really, to come out here and play so well as a team and play unified like that, I think it's a big confidence booster for us. You guys, you're talking about, like, playing together for two weeks now. Talk about the... A little bit about the chemistry issue. Uh, the chemistry you guys have gained a lot of that, and um, taking that into Turkey, that must be huge. Yeah, that's definitely huge, and that's the benefit of of uh, having a core group like ours that's been together for a few years now. That we can come together a little later in the summer and um, be together and have that chemistry that we've had from last year. <laughs> and from last year, so we're definitely taking that from the past couple of years and moving into this summer to take that into Turkey. What are you looking forward to in Turkey? Uh, you know, the highest Canada's ever ranked is six. I know you're definitely looking to beat that, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, we're definitely looking into to going into there and doing our best, you know, showing our abilities. And, you know, it's not often that you get to play in a world championship. It's one of the highest, it's actually the highest level of basketball um, in the world, you know. It's bigger than the Olympics in the basketball world. So it's not often you get an opportunity to represent your country in the world championship. So we're going in there looking to beat that number six and rank as high as we can. And and also um, camaraderie I saw on the court too. You guys are talking a lot more. I mean, you kind of went away from that in the second in the second half. What do you have to do to kind of keep that consistency going? Yeah, uh, I think like the leaders on the team. You know, um, we have so many guys on the team that have been together for so long. So it's not like we just have one or two leaders. You know, we have a bunch of leaders and guys that can come in and take control of the game at any time. So I think we just need to do a better job of that, picking and choosing our times where we need to rally together, where we need to huddle up and come together in the right times. Is there anyone that's taking you underneath their wing to kind of, you know, develop your game a little bit more? Taking me under there? Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Someone that you look to. Yeah, you know what? Actually, there's a member of our team, you know, who hasn't, he's not able to be with us this year, Jesse Young. And, you know, he's been a huge member of our team. Um, he's, you know, I think it's been 12 years or 11 years that he's played on this team. And he hasn't been able to be with us um, this summer, but over the past few years, he's definitely taken me under his wing um, and, and taught me a lot. Also, Jermaine Anderson, who he hasn't played today, but over the past few years, you know, although we don't play the same position, he's taught me so much about the game and things I can work on. And, uh, and Coach has done that same thing for me as well. Thank you.